He does. He really does. Look, hear me out, okay? I actually can explain. But in order to do so, we first need to understand why he is benched. Why is this Sterling so-called superhuman sitting in the sidelines as a substitute and not serving the side that set his stardom off by scoring, silencing and subsequently serenading the Stratford Syndicate who seldom seen their star striker start this season? Sue, so, is it punishment for him trying to force a move? No. Is it punishment for the disastrous Brentford game? No. Is it even really because of a lack of a pre-season? No. Or is it because he doesn't fit Ten Hag's way of playing? Yeah, actually no. Because if you remember the man's original press conferences for United, Ten Hag was always complimentary of Ronaldo and seemed genuinely excited to work with him. So what's going on? As some of you may recall, during the pre-season, Ten Hag tried to get United to play a similar style to his well-renowned Ajax teams. But after the first couple of games, the manager came to discover information that we as fans actually already knew. That threat is to passing is what a fish is to algebra. So while recruiting, developing and integrating, the Dutchman has temporarily had to resort to a counter-attacking, structurally solid setup who mostly play without the ball and rely on pace up front to break on teams. Now that must be the problem. Ronaldo doesn't have the pace to play up front in this current United system. It all makes sense, right? Well, yes, except... No, not this either. <laughs> this wasn't clickbait, people. I mean it. He's on the bench not because he has to be, but because he deserves to be. Because don't forget, while Ronaldo wouldn't suit the wide forward's role in Ten Hag's temporary system, there's still a position of centre forward up for grabs. And despite this role requiring the front man to be more withdrawn, play with his back to goal, and release runners in behind, none of which Ronaldo is known for, the truth is, he's still the best at doing this at United. Yes, even better than Martial. Some people seem to forget this, but there was actually another reason outside his dodgy hip flexor issue as to why Ronaldo went through a scoring draw under Ranić last year. Due to injuries and departures, CR7 was employed as a false nine and was tasked to drop D to occupy the pockets and link the play up. And some of his performances, particularly the ones against West Ham and Arsenal, was proved that when he wants to, he's world class at this role too. To put it straight, he basically can do everything Martial does, but in addition brings what is probably his most understated trait ever, wreaking havoc without even touching the ball. Because as Bruno mentioned in that random ass interview, Ronaldo's presence and aura causes opposition defenders endless panic and uncertainty, leading them to form a crowd around him which frees up space for the wide forwards. Now, there are two things to address here. Number one, if he is that good, why isn't Ten Hag picking him? And number two, Again, how does any of this mean that it is his fault that he's benched? Well, I am getting to that bit, be patient, idiot. So if you know how Ronaldo plays, you'll be aware that his personal best position is a free role starting from the wide areas. And due to him playing that role for years on end, his natural instincts are to pick up obscure position in wide areas so he's harder to track, as well as focus on deciding games and taking every half chance. And to be honest, he still can very easily thrive in this role now as his early Champions League run last year as well as the hat-trick versus Tottenham proved it. But this is not what this team needs, nor can they play like this right now. Yet, when he was finally selected against Sheriff and Sociedad, off he went, wandering about again like he's dropped his keys on the casino floor. And don't get me wrong, this isn't because he's unprofessional and is purposely sabotaging the team's plans, but simply because, in his mind, him playing his way and with freedom is what's best for the team. And while that has been true for the vast majority of his career, he needs to look around and accept that he's not currently with a group of players who can collaborate to form such a system. And personally, as a fan, if he simply didn't have the tools to do the job Eric Ten Hag wants, it'd be a lot easier for me to accept him being benched. But because he can and still isn't doing so, it truly is no one's fault but his own. However, mark my words, when they eventually do fully transition into a possession team, if he's still here by then, Ronaldo will cook.
work. Because even if he isn't given the license to roam, that system would still be made for him to decide games. So my friend, until then, why not play that unselfish role you are more than capable of doing? Stop getting bored in the center and start wandering off. Be patient. Watch the grass grow. Fucking bring a Game Boy! As I said before, playing a relatively supporting role and sacrificing for the team would do much more to expand his legacy than just obsessively chasing individual records. And given his history with this very club, doing this for United will not only add to his legend, but also very poetically bring his remarkable career full circle. And that is that. Agree or disagree? Beats indifference. Once again, don't forget to like, comment and share. And of course, subscribe. Till next time, you keep rolling.